Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. We are going to begin with the chaos outside a Bronx apartment building. Police shot and wounded a man suffering from a mental health episode this morning. The NYPD says this is the large kitchen knife the suspect had in his hand when officers arrived at that scene. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson got exclusive video of the tense moments leading up to that shooting. She's live in the Fordham section. Kimberly? Well, Sandra, this all actually started inside of this building. That father calling 911 for help. He told dispatch his son, yes, was having a medical emergency, that his son had a knife and was threatening to kill any officer who showed up here. Once officers did arrive, in just 29 seconds, it was over. In this exclusive video obtained by Eyewitness News, you see the 42-year-old victim walking through the lobby of a building. And seconds later, an NYPD officer, weapon drawn, backing away from the same man who police say was coming towards them with this large knife. It's like I heard like pop, pop sounds. By the time I got here, it was just a, like the cop cars were just, just crowding around. By then, police had opened fire, critically injuring the man. Victor tells me police shot his brother Raul three times in the stomach and leg. This all started around 10 this morning inside this building on the Grand Concourse. Raul's father called 911, told dispatch his son was having a medical episode, had a knife, and was saying this. He feels he's being followed, persecuted, and goes on the state. If any cops show up here today, I will kill them. Officials say two officers met the father outside and started heading up the walkway towards the vestibule of the building. The subject comes out, clearly becomes agitated when he sees the officers, drops a bag, produces a large kitchen knife, and starts advancing towards the officers. Who police say told the victim several times to drop the knife. He didn't. The guy, he's good. The guy come in the morning every day in the morning, say, hi, how are you, everything. I don't know what's going on today. There is police body cam video of the incident, which I asked if mental health experts should have also responded with the initial officers. We're going to review the tapes, but the cops got here rather quickly. This event took place in about 28 seconds. 28 seconds. Family members say this 42 year old victim did have to have surgery and at this hour is in critical condition. For now, we're live in the Bronx. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.